Greetings everyone and thanks for joining us on this Paranormal Pit Stop. Tonight, we'll be exploring a prominent public expanse located on the Big Bay Dinoc of Lake Michigan, between Snail Shell Harbor and Sand Bay off of Michigan State Route 183 on the Upper Peninsula. Its bounds have since been transformed into a living history museum utilized to interpret the area's past, namely through the 19th century. Recognized as one of the most well-preserved industrial era town sites in the whole of our country, and rumored to harbor a range of ghost manifestations and chilling supernatural phenomena. Are you sure you're ready to brave the history and hauntings of the Fayette Historic State Park? Historically, the community of Fayette would initially form around the Jackson Iron Company following the Civil War and out of the country's post-war iron demand. It was settled in 1867 and would tote two blast furnaces, a large dock, a handful of charcoal kilns, and more. Over its 24 years of operation, Fayette's roughly 500 residents or so would crank out an impressive 229,288 tons of pig iron, all the while putting to use the region's native hardwoods as fuel for their operation, and using locally quarried limestone in the purification process. Unfortunately, as the iron market started to decline, in 1891, the Jackson Iron Company would be forced to close its doors, following which Fayette residents would begin moving elsewhere in search of their fortunes. Through this same period, a handful of locals would stay behind and would utilize old community lands for farming, and eventually, the town would adopt an economy based off of its resort potential, with angling as a driver. In 1916, Fayette lands were purchased under wealthy interests and transformed into a summer resort space. In 1946, this resort would be acquired under new ownership who unfortunately would fall behind financially, resulting in the expanse being acquired under the state for Timberland. And later, in 1959, Fayette State Park was officially established. Today, the Living History Museum that is the Fayette Historic Town Site remains open to the public, offering a range of exhibits, artifacts, and an assortment of over 20 restored buildings. The park is open daily from May through October. It totes a visitor center and a museum store, and there is literally no admission charge, with the exception of parking requiring a Michigan State Park Pass, which we think is pretty cool. Additionally, Fayette Historic State Park also offers campsites, picnic spaces, a mess of trails, its own beach, playgrounds, and more. Sadly, many of Fayette's earlier residents migrated to Michigan from Europe and Canada and traded in their entire lives, businesses, homes, and even their families in search of greener pastures, only for the economy to take a dive and drive them away once again. Additionally, while in operation, local mills and refineries were exceedingly dangerous places to work, with a number of said workers either killed or left permanently disabled following their employment periods, and it's believed the town's tumultuous past has left its fair share of deep paranormal scars, with those frequenting park bounds telling of doors that open and close on their own, of disembodied voices heard from vacant spaces, and of footsteps that emanate from empty structures. Various objects across the landscape have been observed moving about on their own or even floating in midair. Several have told of run-ins with shadowy manifestations, and a range of full-bodied entities in clothing spanning the eras have been encountered, and are often mistaken for actors by unsuspecting living until they fade into nothingness right before their eyes. Throughout the park, spectral faces have been sighted in reflective surfaces and through the windows of closed and locked buildings. Lights flicker and personal electronics often seemingly act of their own volition, and both strange orbs and half-formed manifestations have been captured in the backgrounds of photography and video. Lastly, within the old Supers house, many have reported extreme cold spots, the sounds of someone heard rummaging about when it's locked up for the night, and instances of an ethereal woman in black spied gazing ominously from its windows after dark. Thanks for joining us for this Paranormal Pit Stop. If you enjoyed hearing our histories and ghost stories, subscribe to our channel, like this upload, and share us with anyone you feel deserves a good scare. We'll catch you next time.